Hey, how's it going? I'm Jeff. So you bought from me one of these custom-made freestanding LED fireplaces to hold your insert. Now, I'm going to show you how to put it together, and it's really pretty simple. First of all, you're going to get the base part from me. And I label it right on the back, back side of base. So you're going to start with this, and then you're going to take your columns, which are your side columns, and you're going to put them on both sides. And again, I label it right here, place column B here, and screw in. So here I have column B, top side, and column B, bottom side. Now I'm going to set it right on there. And by the way, I put some lines on the back of here, okay, that are going to line up with the base plate. So you can put it right on and look and see where it settles onto it. Then I have these bolts right here that are going to go right through here and they screw into some recessed nuts that I have put into the base. And we're going to tighten this down with a screwdriver. A screwdriver, a Phillips screwdriver, is the only tool that you need to do this. So we tighten that down and it's nice and firm. Next we're going to take the bottom trim board which is this piece right here and you've got a little slot where you're going to put it into and you're going to butt it up right up next to the column. Then you're going to take your other column which I'm looking from the back this is right side and I call it column C. We're going to put it right over the note that says place column C here. And again, we have some notches cut in the back to line it up. And again, you're going to take these little bolts, put them in there, tighten them down with a screwdriver. We're going to take the top mantle, and I label it right inside here. It says bottom of top mantle. I want you to take the board that says back of top trim plate, okay? and put it into the slot, just like that. Just like that. And I'm kind of feeling like I'm in one of those puppet shows. And you're gonna take the little pre-drilled holes in here and you're gonna start putting these bolts in just with your finger to get them to start to come through the other side and then we can line them up with the holes. Don't tighten them down all of the way. Just put it in a little bit to get them started so that we can make sure that everything is gonna fit right. And then you can tighten them down. That's why I wanna have these boards flexible like this so that we can move them up or down to get it flush to your LED insert. Now, if it so happened that there just wasn't enough room, these can actually be trimmed down. If you don't have anybody to trim them down, you can send it back to me too, I'll be happy to do it. 